The Enforcer, Solo Sokoa. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline. From Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa. A man of very few words, Solo prefers to let his fist do all the talking. You talk about intimidation factor, Solo has this entire arena feeling uneasy right now. Time for the Enforcer to make the Bloodline proud. Oh, I have no doubt he will do so. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American Nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American Nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. And we know Cody has adrenaline coursing through his veins, giving rise to the power that is the American Nightmare. Rhodes is writing new chapters for his family's legacy, and before it's all said and done, Cody could become the icon of the Rhodes family. Cody can quicken the pace, wrestle to the mat, or let the fist fly anytime he chooses, thanks to some Texas outlaw in his blood. And he's taking on Solo Sokoa, who some have argued could be the real tribal chief in WWE. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pump the brakes, Saxton. No one worth listening to has argued that. But I can acknowledge that Solo is definitely more than just muscle, more than just an enforcer. When you think of Cody Rhodes, you think of a lot of intangibles, natural ability, heart, the kinds of things you can't measure that will carry him through a match. All that and one more, Cole. Knowledge. He truly has been through it all, but in my mind, it's his experience that will end up putting the biggest gap between the American Nightmare and his opponent. And now thrown back into the ring. Ow. Oh. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. And the punishing streak of Sokoa just got a bit halted. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. He can do it here. Rope breaks the hold there. He's turning the tables. Getting carried, unsure what they're thinking. Piercing the throat. He steers clear of contact. Hold on. Delivered with force. Shoulders down. Gets the shoulder up. He thought he had it. And Rhodes 
Edwards is countered. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uh-oh, boom, Solo with a timely counter. Reversal, can they go on the attack? Ooh. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. On the lease. Oh, man, that was a thing of beauty. Right into a snapmare. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Things seem to be escalating between them. Yeah, Michael, what started as a disagreement looks like it has turned into bad blood. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, Ooh. what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Ouch. Rhodes with a jab and the bionic elbow. Uh-oh. Way too far. Oh. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Stopped in their tracks with a knee to the gut. Pulled back into the hip tuck. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. The arm bar is locked in. The enforcer of the bloodline. Fujiwara. Oh. A bear hug. Squeezing the breath out of them. Oh, the Play right here. Ooh, clothesline deliver. That's yours in your head. And that's enough to share a cover. Could be it. The ref not even getting to one. What a kick out. In full control, down with a gourd buster. What's he have here? Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. Sign me up for a rematch. 